Hello, my name is Ken Blevins, Top Dog Coordinator. My name is Traylon Black, Top Dog Team Member. My name is Nick Crawl, Assistant Principal. My name is Gabe Hernandez, I'm the other Assistant Principal. And we're your Top Dogs Committee for Go and Read Watchdogs. We want to thank you for taking the time to be a watchdog. This is truly a one-of-a-kind program and experience for you to have a positive impact on the life of not only your student, but so many others. If you've been a watchdog before, thank you and welcome back. If this is your first time, you're in for an amazing experience full of high fives and lots of fun. Before we get started, we want to go over a few reminders and rules. These rules are meant to keep you, our, our Gordon Reed students, teachers, and staff safe. If at any point you have any questions, please reach out to any of the Gordon Reed staff for assistance. Now, for the safety of our students, there's only one restroom that uh, the men on campus, including Mr. Crawl and I use, um, and that's located at the front office. Um, you may not enter a student restroom for any reason. Uh, if you ever hear a student that's asking for help inside of the restroom, uh, just alert one of the female staff members and, and um, they can help out. Uh, this is really meant to protect you and the student. Um, as far as the exterior doors are concerned, never open any of those exterior doors for anyone um, or prop open one of those doors. Um, that again goes back to safety. The primary responsibility of a watchdog is not security, but our presence provides an extra set of eyes and ears for the school to help spot potential issues. If you see something out of the ordinary in or around the school, please alert a teacher or staff member immediately. Conroe ISD has specific procedures that are in place that must be followed by the school to investigate and handle any potential safety situations. In the event of a fire drill, severe weather drill, or lockdown drill, please follow the instructions of the staff, teachers and staff. The schedule you get at the start of the day is important. Not only does it tell you where you need to be, but it helps the staff at Gordon Reed know where you are if there is an emergency. The schedule will also let the teachers know when to expect you. Our amazing teachers like to plan lessons around you being in their classroom, and sometimes a lesson can't get started until you arrive. If you've seen a copy of your child's daily schedule, you do understand that they have a lot to do in a single day. So it is also important that you say goodbye to the class on time as well. The schedule will ensure that you get to spend time in your child's class or your children's class if you have more than one child. We do our best to make sure that you will be able to volunteer in all classes when having multiple children. However, there may be times when that's not possible for you to be in all of your children's classrooms. You will always be able to eat lunch with your child during their assigned lunch period. Now, throughout the day, you'll constantly be interacting with different students um, in the, on the campus. Uh, you'll be in the middle of what a normal day at Gordon Reed is like. Uh, be mindful never to be alone with any of the students, always be um, visibly uh, you know, present, visible to others. Um, you may also hear and see things uh, related to student performance or student behavior. Uh, remember that that's confidential information um, and we ask that you keep it confidential. Well, at Gordon Reed, please be aware that your language and conversations do not use profanity, do not share religious or political views. During the day, if you need to take a phone call or make a phone call, answer a few emails, or just take a break, you are absolutely allowed to. Ask the front office staff and they will point you in the direction of the teacher's break room. You can also leave any personal items there uh, during the day if needed. For lunch, you can either be in the cafeteria or outside with the students at recess. Feel free to eat lunch with your student, students. Um, if possible, try to be in the cafeteria for kindergarten lunch. Kindergarten teachers always need help during lunch time helping kids open lunches and cleaning up. If you have a child that is in kindergarten, it is not expected for you to be up and walking around during your child's lunch. You also are welcome to help our fabulous custodians with setup, cleanup, and gloves are provided. Finally, we never engage in any conduct that brings disrespect to yourself or your student or students the school and or the watchdog program and any other volunteering men. Gordon Reed staff will go over some other rules and reminders with you before you start your day. Now get ready to have a great time and have fun. Remember to be approachable, smart, alert, available, and a positive role model. Thank you again for volunteering to be a watchdog.